You're probably wondering how I acquired this. But I'm gonna save those details for some other time, mainly because you probably wouldn't believe me. But long story short, I went through hell to get it. Literally. So Undertaker, if you want a shot at taking this back, you'll have to face me at Survivor Series in a... Now come out here and accept my challenge. Come on, answer me! What's wrong? You too embarrassed to show your face after what I did to you in the plains of purgatory in front of your hordes of undead? I told you it was a crazy story. Survivor Series, you will not survive, but you will rest in peace. Welcome to Survivor Series, where later tonight, we have an epic last man standing match between Trey and the returning Undertaker. And if facing the Phenom wasn't intimidating enough, he's dead set on regaining possession of his urn that Trey somehow acquired. Uh, assuming this goes how I think it will, Trey's pretty much dug his own grave. to wonder what does Trey have to gain in a match like this? While the risk is certainly high, so is the potential upside. I know it's unlikely, but if Trey could defeat The Undertaker, that would go a long way in solidifying his status as one of the top WWE superstars in recent memory. I think there's a better chance Saxton wins Commentator of the Year. Wait, you really think I have a shot this year? No, no, I sure don't. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. And it's reversed. Paying for that mistake. Ah. Oh, what a suplex. Lightning fast reflexes. Bringing it back between the ropes. Being a sports entertainer for over 25 years will take a toll on anybody's body, yet The Undertaker continues to defy logic. Yeah, and he continues to silence any doubters. So many have asked, has The Undertaker lost a step? And that, guys, may be the most dangerous question to ask. You would be making a grave mistake to come at the dead man with misplaced confidence. Oh, here we go. Absolutely spiked. DDT. 
DDT. The demon of Death Valley with destruction on his mind. Byron brings up the question of Undertaker losing a step, and it seems as if the notion is constantly tested. Challengers continue to lure the dead man out. No one allows him to rest in peace. Everyone wants to see if the demon from Death Valley still has it. Don't expect a lot of mercy to be shown here. Nothing fancy here. Gets him with a counter. These guys have to knock each other down to the point that their opponent can't get up. I'm no mathematician, guys, but by my calculations, a last man standing match is more than three times as brutal as a traditional match. After all, you only need to keep your opponent down for a three count in a traditional match. Ooh. And he continues to use the chair. And it's The Undertaker, able to break free. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Bam, what a slam. On the topic of traditional matches versus last man standing matches, Corey makes a great point. In matches such as this, you have to keep your opponent down for a count of 10, which oftentimes results in increased brutality and danger, Michael. And Undertaker showing such creativity. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. Now, oh, trampling the opposition. He continues to press forward. I'm not sure how long this will last, but he's fired up right now. Oh, and he lands it. Really relying on that tonight. Oh, shows no mercy. And that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. He's not going to like this. The Florida Keys! Looks like a match ender. I don't know if The Undertaker can recover. Two! Three! Four! Five! Six! Seven! Eight! Nine! What? Oh my god, I can't believe I did to defeat the Undertaker. This definitely quiets any doubts that people might have had about Trey's legitimacy. I'll admit it, I've had those doubts, but what Trey did tonight was truly impressive. Maybe this guy's the real deal after all. I can't believe I beat the Undertaker in just the first count. That's surprising. I was actually expecting him to like get up and do his thing. And that's how we opened a portal to the netherworld and summoned the Undertaker to the Earth Realm so I could defeat him and cement my Hall of Fame legacy. Uh, we're fine, thanks. I told you they wouldn't believe it. You know what? I, none of that crazy stuff ever happened. I, I mean, sure, I, I beat the Undertaker. You all witnessed that. But, but could you imagine all that other wacky stuff? <laughs> Portals and marsh ladies and Papa Shango? <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Joke's on you. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to things that actually happened. Like when I was the longest reigning women's champion of the modern era, holding the SmackDown Live Women's Championship for over two and a half years. Clear it. 
Favorite title defense versus Tony. List of headmates. Favorite title defense. Oscar Tate. Mm. Try this Helen is a match. Let's just keep let's continue with the story. I mean this game has our record breaking SmackDown Live women's champion is ready to address the WWE Universe. Since I defeated Mickey James over two and a half years ago, I've had the privilege of defending this championship against the very best female competitors in WWE. But when you're the longest reigning women's champion in the modern era, it's only natural you start to look for new ways to challenge yourself. And considering it's a little wild west around here right now with no GM, I figured this was my chance to do that. So I thought about doing an open challenge, but that's a little played out. I could force myself to win with a four or five count, maybe, or I could do something really unprecedented and defend my title against male superstars. So what do you think? Really? Ronda Rousey. Huh? Not Ronda, sorry, Becky Lynch. <laughs> It's Becky, Becky Lynch and her savages. Uh, nothing good ever happens when they come around. Well, that's your opinion, Saxton. Personally, I think they're one of the best things going today on SmackDown Live. Well, whether you like them or not, you can't deny the influence they have over WWE. I'm not arguing with that. Ever since Becky Lynch took control of this faction, she's pretty much been able to do whatever she wants, except for taking that SmackDown Live Women's Championship away from Red. I have a feeling that could change real soon. Something tells me we are about to lose our title. So you want to give yourself new challenges like five counts or facing men? Well, I have a better idea. How about you forget all that and face the man? <laughs> it's funny you still throw around that title after all these years. I mean, I'm the one who's held an actual title longer than anyone since the 1970s. So, I'm pretty sure that makes me the man. <clears throat> I am the man because I'm the leader of the most powerful force this sport has ever seen. And that's when there's someone in charge. So just think of what we're capable of when no one's steering the ship. So unless you want to find out what happens when we have free reign, I suggest you give me my title match tonight. Let's do this. If you didn't hear me the first time, I'm looking for new challenges not rematches against played out losers I've already beat. And you and your crew trying to intimidate me isn't going to change that. Besides, everyone knows you're just all bitch and no bite. <laughs> oh, well, if you're not gonna give me a title match, then I'll just have to beat one out of you. Boys, little help. I'm gonna show Red here my bite. Oh. Red is severely outnumbered here. Thank you. So far, mm -hmm. Red's holding her own. Oh no. Not anymore. Becky Lynch is showing Red that she's not just all talk. Here comes Trey to help his best friend. Oh, I no. admire his courage, no, no, but no. Trey has no chance against these guys. It's it's four on one. I told you, Becky and her savages are one of the best parts of SmackDown Live. It's clear that unless she can somehow even up the sides, Red faces an uphill battle to hold on to her SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think you're looking at the man who's going to end Red's record-breaking title reign.
We gotta get even with Becky and her savages. How are we gonna do that? We're at a five on two disadvantage. We saw what happened out there, and we want to help. Great. Where were you 15 minutes ago? We all had severe simultaneous leg cramp syndrome, or SSLCS. It's a real proven medical condition that can occur when superstars team as long as we have, and their body's ailments become synchronized. Uh, I don't think they're buying it. Look, the truth is that we didn't want to get involved in your business. And we know sometimes certain people can be a bit stubborn about wanting to do things on their own. He's talking about you. Nah, it could be anyone. It's fine. I know I'm stubborn, but I'm not stupid. I can recognize when we need help, so we'll take it. Thank you. So do we do like a secret New Day handshake now or something? How about you two rest up and next week we'll see what we can do about Becky and her crew. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Oh, leg cramp acting up again. Uh, you, you guys feeling it too? You can stop that now. Not long after my issues with Becky Lynch heated up, SmackDown Live filled its open GM position. We were excited to see who it was. Well, until we saw who it was. Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM of SmackDown Live. Apparently she's traded MMA and Hollywood for WWE. This is crazy. This isn't crazy. It's genius. Thank you. I'm so excited to be the new general manager of SmackDown Live. Did you just come out here, interrupt us, and say SmackDown Live? She definitely said that, and I have 2020 hearing. Uh, you're off to a good start as GM. Please continue. Knowing that I was up for this gig, I watched the show last week for the first time, and I have to say, I didn't like what I saw from you, Red. Instead of accepting Becky Lynch's challenge, you resorted to cheap insults, which led to Becky having no choice but to defend herself. So, Red, you said last week you wanted new challenges? Well, I have one for you. You're going to defend your women's championship in the first ever best out of five team match. It will be a one night series of singles matches between Red, Trey, and your buddies The New Day, taking on Becky Lynch and her savages. If Red's team wins the series, she retains her title. If Becky's team wins, she is the new SmackDown Live women's champion. She just said it again. The name of your show is Smack Down Live. Say it with me. Smack Down. Town makes more sense, but whatever. Guys, guys, we're losing track of the fact she just put us in a best out of five series for Red's title, which seems super unfair. I mean, who would do such a thing? Who? 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 Hey, I know we formed an alliance, but that's kind of our thing, okay? With all due respect, you're really stacking the deck against Red, so I have an idea that would help even things up a bit. You give our team home field advantage. That's right. If Red's putting her title on the line under these circumstances, then the series should take place on our turf. What kind of turf are we talking? Synthetic or natural? Because I prefer a natural tall fescue. I meant more of a New Day home arena vibe, but we could look into the fescue. I like what you're thinking, except Becky's team should have an equal opportunity to secure home field advantage. So later tonight, it will be Red and a team member of her choosing versus Becky and a partner of her choice. The winner of that match will earn home field advantage for their team in the best out of five series. Who's it gonna be, Red? Yeah. yeah. Who? 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 That was a test, and you passed. Good job. There's really not a bad choice, unlike the choice of Brooklyn as GM. Ooh, she just laid the smack town on her. <laughs> so I'm going to team with... 
Trey, Big E. Let's stick with Big E. Yeah. Great decision. Oh, I can smell the sweet aroma of tall fescue headed our way. Home field advantage is on the line later tonight on SmackDown Live. Who's her partner? In Bala. Okay. SmackDown Live's new GM is put ready in a situation like we've never seen before. She and her partner must win this match to earn home field advantage for a best of five series between Red's team and Becky Lynch's Savages with the SmackDown Live Women's Championship on the line. I am still shocked that Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM. So I can't imagine how Red and Trey must feel. As Fred Windy match to secure home field advantage. Brooklyn Von Braun okay. is an accomplished professional. I'd be very surprised if she let oh, no. an age-old high school grudge get in the way of her job as general manager. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised at all. A oh, shoulder breaker! Gotta wonder how this is gonna end, Byron. It's not gonna be good. Becky Lynch oh, on the no. move. Not finished yet. Again. How about another? Whoa, not so fast. Trap the arm. And the neck breaker. So much has been said about Finn Balor being the first WWE Universal Champion, but the challenge he overcame to gain that opportunity shouldn't be overlooked. Yeah, a week after the 2016 draft, Finn Balor's debut ushered in what was called the new era of Monday Night Raw as he beat the odds in a fatal four-way match before going on to defeat Roman Reigns. Ah, oh, she's not looking good here. The first thing she needs to do is somehow get out of that corner. Whoa, it's another reversal. Reflecting on Finn Balor's main roster debut, Byron said they called it the first episode of the new era. I like to think it was because that was my first night commentating on Monday Night Raw, but I guess Finn had a fine night too. You can be so self-involved, Corey. Jeez. The rest of the WWE Universe recognizes the biggest event that night as the arrival of the extraordinary Finn Balor and the great Corey Graves. Two, three, Delivering the suplex. Four. WrestleMania, SummerSlam, the Royal Rumble, Saturday night's main event, you name it, they've emanated from right here in Phoenix at one point over the years. I'll give credit where credit's due. The chance for Big E are deafening. The WWE Universe certainly agrees that New Day rocks, and this powerhouse is a major reason for that. Ugh. I feel sick after acknowledging that. Snapmare. Very unique vibe for this mixed tag team match, that's for sure. It's not your traditional tag team encounter. Come on, Corey. We all know how you love to start your day with a giant bowl of Foodio cereal. No matter how you look at it, Biggie is one of the most popular superstars in WWE. I personally love starting each day with a bowl of Foodios. Sometimes I'll even have two bowls. When Biggie steps through that curtain, the WWE Universe loses their minds. And that's not by accident. Oh, Unbelievable athleticism. 
on a senton. She is just dominant right now. She's looking good now. We'll see if it lasts. Let's end it. You know, there's just so much at stake for these teams in this match. A win in this one is just absolutely huge. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Looking at it here. Wow. And a kick out by Becky what? Lynch. Not yet. Head scissors applied. And, ooh, look at this. Oh, no. She returns the favor there. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. And again, yet another counter. Charring European uppercut. Don't know if it's going to work, but Becky is playing mind games now. Oh, again! Not what she was looking for. After this, she's done. She's done. We need to get him by Snapmare. And will this be it? One, two, three. How we made it. special New Day themed event where Red's SmackDown Live Women's Championship is on the line in a best of five series. This looks like an arena that was designed by a four-year-old who's been eating too much paste. Stay classy, New Day. It's different, but I kind of like it. I have no doubt that you do. Welcome, everyone, to the best of five series for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Where our team, as you might have noticed, has home field advantage. Do you like what we've done with the place? Ooh, look at the tall fescue ramp. It's amazing. This is the best looking setup for a show since they used to bring Mr. McMahon's home to the In Your House events. Wait, what did you just say? Yeah, yeah, you know how they used Mr. McMahon's home as the old In Your House entrance? My uncle knew a security guard who knew a janitor who knew a concession stand worker who worked at one of the arenas and he told him that it was Vince's actual house. We need to have a talk later. Guys, guys, we could continue to dilly-dally or we could get things started with the first match. I'm normally a strong proponent of dillying and dallying, but I think we should get to some action. In that case, let's kick things off with our first contest of the evening. You're up, Kofi. We're going to get the best of five series started with Kofi Kingston taking on the bruiser weight, Pete Dunne. I doubt Pete Dunne or any of Becky Lynch's savages have ever competed in an arena like this before. Yeah, only in their worst nightmares. 
This wow. place looks like New Day's storage unit threw up. And if looks I have nice. to stare at these bright colors all night long, I might too. So the question is, are we gonna be in control of Coffee Kingston or not? 